Can artifacts be made? I should check in on that artifact, huh? Yes, David, you should. Amber Dwarf was fighting? Oh, no. Why did you fall off the waterfall? I put that bridge there so you wouldn't die. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's okay. He was content being near to a waterfall moments before he fell off of it. Lemmings. That's what we got. Lemmings. A mechanic, huh? Uh... Rock, tree, rough color, bars, rough color, cloth, thread, huh? Uh, that might be problematic. We don't have any thread. Oh, you know what we need? We need a cloth, uh, a, clo a clothing, a, a <laughs> I, I can't make words work today. Um, clothing shop, a <laughs> clothier shop. Words are tough. Uh, well, we should just make a temporary one. Make it down here. If I put it in that place that I want to use it for other things. Oh, actually, we don't need a clothier shop. We need a loom. A loom. That's what we need. Bing. Bing. This is purely temporary, people. to unpause it to have them actually make the stuff that you want to make. Why did I make two? Because I did. All right, we have Aerith, the woodcutter, weaving thread into cloth. Cutters. We're not going to have much work to do. We also have another one making cloth. Be 
You didn't move. We made pigtail cloth and pigtail cloth. All right, I want someone to make silk cloth, please. I'm making pigtail. You're making pigtail. Uh, can we make something other than pigtail cloth, please? We should probably, um... Like, I have to imagine we need to shear an animal. And then spin thread. Oh, stop following them. Who is now weaving? Tail threat. Like, literally, I need something other than pigtail thread, right? <laughs> or pigtail cloth. All right, who's el who else is up? That's it, huh? Oh, you know what? I was gonna say. Do I have any of this collected? No, because it's out there. Dern. Dern. All right, well, let's see if uh, any thread is going to do it. Maybe we just need to um, make yarn cloth. Maybe. child no, we've got to solve this problem all right what do we have for for cloth we we need yarn cloth all right that's good we can solve that all right who is spinning thread weave yarn into cloth excellent Rith. You've got a job to do. Unpause it again, David. I've been rained on. It makes me so grouchy. Uh, Rith the bookkeeper. Uh, she always acts with mercy and compassion at the forefront of her considerations after becoming a parent in 251. She forms strong emotional bonds with others, at times to her detriment. She's very humble. She likes a little excitement now and then. She is somewhat fearful in the face of imminent danger. She tries to do things correctly each time. She stiffens up. When she's surprised. Uh, she dreams of mastering a skill one day and uh, personally believes that li little is better in life than a good party. Uh, views decorum as a high ideal and is deeply offended by those who main fail to maintain it. Respects perseverance, values a harmonious existence, values nature, and does not care about fairness. Likes pudding stone, aluminum, uh, fire agate, uh, giant wild boar hoof bags tiger men for their stripes of course and the words of the mother of aquamarine in the sight of the wondrous pregnancy when possible she prefers to consume floating guts and swamp whiskey she absolutely detests jumping spiders oh i guess he correct collected the rest of the stuff he or she needed uh tosid has uh, the mechanic has created our blithrush a limonite mechanism and offers it to the lenses of tenacity. This is a limonite mechanism worth 5,000. It is encrusted with oval limonite cabochons, briolite cut amethysts, so decorated with llama wool. Llama. It's a llama, David. Say it right. A llama wool 
Uh, and encircled with bands of willow, uh, the object menaces with spikes of amethyst. On the item is an image of dwarves and iron. The dwarves are traveling. The artwork relates to the reclamation of sprinkled hames. Yes, sprinkled hames by the castle of sliding of the wall of cults in the midwinter of 250. Uh, sprinkled hames, huh? Oh, it's this one. Neat. All right. Well, I'm so glad that you were able to make that. And um, I mean, any good mechanism artifact should definitely be in the tavern as a lever. I don't know what this lever is going to do yet, but at the moment, it's just going to be a lever. Not to be confused with the lever. Uh, speaking of which, we sold all our mechanisms, so we should definitely make some mechanisms. And um, uh, maybe only 10 actually, because we don't have enough blocks, I think. We're done shearing animals. Excellent. And more thread. Alright, so eventually silk is going to be a problem, so we should do something about that eventually. But today is not that day. So much rock salt blocks. I guess I'll just make it all out of rock salt, huh? That would make more sense. Anyways, I don't remember Juggernaut. Do you play Dwarf Fort? Do you enjoy the game? Things you're looking forward to out of adventure mode, if you are. I just don't remember. out there excited for adventure mode I am did you see the the demo video or the the promo video they put out the other day is good Arn was traveling with a wombat person not every game you can play and and have a wombat person in your party like I dare say there's very few of them out there might only be one In fact, I challenge you, find another game where you can travel with a wombat person in your party. Is it 11.45? It's only 10.45. I thought it was I have no love of these square rooms, but the, the non-square ones I like. Oh, winter we go. Hey, we're out of drink again. Whose job is it to make sure we don't run out of drink? Surely not mine, right? Why do you think that keeps happening? Darn doors keep drinking it. It's 11.45 in the Atlantic Ocean. It's 11.45 in like Nova Scotia, right? Also, hi, Dulcie. How you doing? You might be the kind of person that would know this. Are there any other games out there that you can play or have a wombat person in your party? 
My guess is no. But there might be. Do we still have stuff to make drink out of? Oh, we do. Plenty, in fact. All right. I hate setting up recurring orders, but let's face it. If I don't do this, we're going to perpetually be out of drink. So anytime available drinks is less than 50, make 100. And we'll say brew fruit 30. All right, beds. You get a bed. Oh, we're gonna run out of beds again. What else is new? Six new bedrooms, how wonderful. All right, make some beds then. Twenty-five of them, sure. As temples go, this one's pretty terrible. I'm just saying. It's not very impressive. <laughs> and that's okay. Alright. We have successfully made <clears throat> my throat not work. Um... I mean, we should probably have a cloth making area anyways, at some point, but is today that point? I don't know. I need, I need a wall there. I keep seeing it and it's missing a wall. If I made that out of the nearest material, they would make it out of limonite. That's not what I want. I'm thinking there's a platformer with a Wombat character, but you can't find it with a quick search. But to your knowledge, no other RPG game or RPG-like game with a Wombat? Yeah. That's why Dwarf Fortress is awesome. Also, there was a Snapping Turtle Man on this map when I settled here, and they left. I'm very upset about it. Also, I don't see that uh, Hammer Man anymore. What do you think? Do you think he died? Let's, let's take a look at the tapes. That's a carp. I think he got off map. Giant badger sow, sturgeon, carp, giant sponge. Well, apparently that hammerman was better at surviving falling 10 Z levels down than our former outpost liaison. Apparently this is a hazing ritual. Now why would you navigate through there? So did I not make this 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 um, bridge wide enough? Do I need to like cover the entire flipping thing? I mean the answer is clearly yes. I suppose they could have been trying to cross it when it was frozen, because it was frozen for a couple of days there. That would be extremely poor luck on their part. Yeah. oh well. I would like to care about it, but I don't. Ooh! I, I know what I'm going to use my, my legendary lever for now. Where'd that lever go? Linky linky doo. Also, I landed. That never happens. Strawberry, prickleberry, aniwa, and foxtail millet. Do we have any other plants that we should be doing here? Almonds and hazelnuts and ratweed. Carrots? We could we could plant carrots. Alright. Don't have to ask me twice. Make carrots, please. Oh, 
Also, we have rat weed. I guess I could do rat weed. I don't know what rat weed tastes like, but you know, try anything once. No, I place a tile floor. I want to put a farm plot there. Oh, no, not there. Um, there. Perfect. All right, this one's gonna be for. What was I going to put there? Carrots. And this one's going to be for rat weed. Oh, do we have rope reed? We have one seed of rope reed? No, no thank you. Okay. We can stop spinning thread and oh my goodness, we need more rock. How, pray tell, do you run out of rock? You, you're dwarves. All you have to do is dig. All right. So if I'm making this into like a Mark's Dwarf station, we're probably eventually going to need a archery range, right? I mean, that would make sense. point I should check those wheelbarrows and make sure that they're not hoarding rock because you know sometimes those pesky wheelbarrows they just hoard rock and you think I'm joking I'm really not all right so I mean that's just like purely temporary space for something eventually maybe have a big enough project going on. All right, we're going to dig out some big areas here. Not there. I might even channel some of this down because I don't have enough like depth to this fort in terms of multi-level design and I and I like the multi-level design. But we'll see. Maybe we won't dig that some some visual space there all right that'll at least get us some stuff dug anyways so we're gonna need clothing industry we have rock up here we still need to dig down and find magma. What if we start digging down down here? Little entryway. And then do 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 do. We'll just go down like 40 levels, see what we find. That's that's a lot more than 40, David. Thanks for letting me know.
We're going to follow Tosid the Miner. I finished up some work. I'm very satisfied. Also, a reminder if you want a dwarf out there, just say so. I'll give you a dwarf. Beard, no beard, roughly what kind of job. All that fun stuff. Anyways, Tosid is uh, carving up and down staircases as a lover, lead. 88 years old, legendary miner. Uh, he is unfriendly and disagreeable, and he is bothered by this since he values friendship. He is somewhat fearful in the face of imminent danger and tends to avoid crowds. He has a noticeable lack of perseverance and lives a fast-paced life. He has little interest in joking around and uh, is slow to trust others. He tends not to reveal personal information. He does not go out of his way to help others and has a greedy streak. He generally acts with a narrow focus on the current activity and tends to hang on to grievances. Uh, he is not particularly interested in what, other, in what others think of him. And he is distracted from conversations easily when he's trying to remember something. He likes working outdoors and grumbles only mildly at inclement weather. He dreams of raising a family one day and personally thinks friendship is important and doesn't particularly care about craftsmanship. He likes marcasite, nickel silver, bonded agate, candlewood wood, oh sorry, candle nut wood, sorry. Yeah, uh, elk hoof, alpaca wool, dogs for their loyalty, groaning ogres for their macabre ways. That's an interesting one. I have never heard of a groaning ogre, but apparently they have macabre ways. Uh, the words of the strategic paper and the sounds of the vermilion flute. When possible, he prefers to consume giant mosquito, lungfish, mead, and two humped camel's milk. One humped camel's milk is disgusting, but two humped camel milk, it's prime. Uh, and absolutely detests large roaches, but small roaches are fine. Uh, I've discovered an expansive cavern deep underground. That's okay. Question is, do I just skirt along the side here? This is a really tall cavern. And and my staircase ends precisely at the place where, where it gets to the ground. Excellent. Anything fun in here? Not yet. Okay. Also, I noted that uh, there was some metal ore when we were digging here. Anyway, so that was... This is negative 67. Ninety one. That's a uh, twenty four Z levels high. That's a tall cavern. Imagine what you could do in those tall halls. All right, uh, so we have metal here. That's garnierite. Hmm, I'm gonna guess garnierite is my nickel, but it might be tin. Oh, I can actually just click on this. Uh, yeah, it's nickel. More Garnier, right? I've never had nickel before. I've only had dimes. Ah! Oh, there's nice here. Oh, that's nice. Oh, shoot. I was up in Maine for a full week and I did not take a single picture of nice. What am I even doing? Microcline, slate. Now we have some lovely variety, including some mudstone, which is not really lovely, but you know, it's fine. All right. Um, let's put some flooring right there. Apparently we have orthoclase. Sure. Uh, I think I am going to just keep on digging down. What's the worst that could happen? We're going to watch and see if anything shows up, of course. Apparently our miner just said, eh, I'm done digging for now. Diorite here too. We don't have enough food storage. Rock pottos. Make 30 of them. 
What are you doing this fine day, Dulcie? Getting anything done? Oh, you might have already left. Well, anyways. Did that rock just disappear? No, I, I accidentally scrolled up a level. Yeah. It's fine. Do I have like one miner? What's going on here? I have two miners. One is digging, one is sleeping. Oh right, I was digging out that area. That would explain it. We could probably have some more miners. How many, how many picks do we have? We have two. We cannot have more than two miners. <laughs> Sorry, David, I can't do that. That's not allowed. Fine. The human pikeman Lekla has shared a rumor from a rod. I wonder what rumor that was. Definitely some things going on up here. Mountain Horn was conquered by the climactic ghoul. That's a goblin sieve. How rude. Wind Reigns was known to be in clutch. Okay. Someone became the sacred turquoise. Mahogany Ball was known to be in play. Oh, all right. The Army of Lion Mountain ma marched on basement drilled, huh? That elven forest retreat has 4,000 people there? Oh boy. Something tells me my dwarven sieve is gonna die. Now somehow, we are at peace with these goblins, but they just took over one of our places. That doesn't seem right. Goblin Fortress of Paint Dip? What kind of paint are they dipping? And if we're at war with the elves, I, I mean, maybe that just means we have to take out these elves that are nearby. I, I was kind of hoping that they would bring us some giant animals, but they haven't yet. So maybe they're a bunch of trash and we should just destroy them. I don't know. It's kind of against my, my whole essence of being but these are the things you have to face sometimes I realized I had four blocks of orthoclase I wonder where I even found that orthoclase but whatever uh bridge this way um claystone rock salt church mudstone nice or diorite pick one I'm feeling nice. Good choice, everybody. And let's go back up here. I've always felt that levers belonged in taverns. I really have no reason for that. But this is what it is. Oh, ferocity reliving being attacked? When were you attacked? You have discovered a downward passage. Wait. Right there. Off a negative 83. I, I mean, I guess technically, yes, I, I have, but um, I it's just at the edge of things. I can't really see it. Oh. 
Oh. It occurs to me as soon as this becomes open, all of those monster hunters that we have in our fort, of which we have many, again, seven of them, uh, they're going to go have a ball and just go play out there. So our, our martial defense squad that we are not currently using is going to go get themselves killed. I mean, they'll explore the caverns for me, I suppose. All right. And this, this thing is 24 Z levels high. That's not, <laughs> that's not something I can just close off, right? But I can at least make it so people won't fall off stairs. That would be kind of me. All right. We're going to put floor right here, all the way down. So there. Uh, this is, this is just temporary. Uh, we're also going to dig here all the way up. And here, all the way down. Oh, there they go. Off partying in the caves. There's Crundles. Lovely. Wonderful. I love Crundles. In the way that one hates things. All right, put a wall there all the way up. Blocked at that location. Why is it blocked at that location? Oh, all right. Fine. Crundles everywhere. <laughs> ah! It's like 40 of them. And what are those random humans and goblins doing? Well, they're socializing, praying. Maybe come down and do your job. You, you wanted to come here to slay creatures? Well, there's some creatures here to slay. Oh my goodness. We've got problems. I said problems, plural. Someone's going to have to remind me what movie that's from. I don't remember. And at least no one has fallen to their death yet. And aside from being ridiculously annoying, what do Crundles even do? Hey, what are you doing? Monster Slayer, go do your job! Killed one thing? You've killed Ice and Pocket Poem, the Bridegroom of the Wicked Ogress in 234? Nice job. And you've killed one Crundle. There's a crundle right there. Go kill it. No? That one's beneath you? There's one. Yeah. Two. Three. All right, well. And we have these monster slayers for a reason, right? All right. 
we build all those yet? No. I need to figure out some way to defend this area here. Dodok the Stonecrafter's been found dead? Do we have a named Crundle now? No. That's very unfortunate. Not happy about that. to all this 